Chuck Harden, you power build an entrepreneur, empower you, it's going to empower everything around you. And it's that time for the midday, midweek, mind shift. Hey, what's going on, Miss Gwen? I see you. I see you. Thank you for letting me know that you're on. So I know that I'm live. I was actually about to cut it off because I wasn't thinking it was working. So glad you let me know. Go ahead, you guys. Check in with me. Let me know the city. Let me know the state that you're checking in from. Love to know who we get to connect with. I go back and read all the comments even after we're done to be sure I'm taking care of all the questions. We're going to have an awesome conversation today. And I know a lot of my um, watchers come back and watch the replay. So if you guys just type in replay, if you're checking out the replay. Um, but want to go ahead and jump right into this, you guys, because this was a very um, it was a very good conversation I had with one of the leaders within my organization. And the thing that I the conversation that we had was something that can be impactful for everyone. Whether you're the leader of an organization or not, you're leading somebody, even if you're just leading yourself. So this is going to be a good conversation for you guys. So what we're talking about as leaders, um, and I've been blessed to be in the network marketing industry for a while. They had a lot of a lot of success, you know, ups and downs in the industry like everyone else. But one of the key factors in order to create or build a great organization is you have to really become a leader. And a lot of times when people get that term or that thought process of I'm going to be a leader, they think a lot of people will serve them. But in actuality, as a leader, you really serving a lot of individuals. You serve a lot of people and you help a lot of people. But one of my team members was asking me, and um, even when I was coaching a person um, last week, they had the same question. How do I get people not to quit on themselves so quickly? How do I get people to see the success that can happen or to see their better selves? How can I help someone be more successful? It, and that's what kind of the question led into. How can I help someone else become more successful? What can I do to help them create better success? And the thing I think they were looking for, what they were kind of looking for was what do I need to do to order to help them be successful? This is a challenge as leaders that we bump into because we see the big picture and we can see greatness in people sometimes before they see it in themselves. But the one thing that you cannot do is you cannot be successful for them. There's actions you cannot take for them. As leaders, we have to help guide them to their own level of success. We have to, but they have to go through the challenges. You know, they have to go through the, through the fight, through the change, through the development, through the evolvement that must happen in order for them to be successful. So when you think about that, what can I do to help someone else become successful? Think about it just in the exact same way as we do for our kids. You know, we want greatness for our kids. Me and my wife, we, we have a conversation all the time is we can't protect them from the world. We have to equip them to deal with the world. We have to show them the success that they have. So this, this, this is two things or really three things you can do. One thing, number one, you have to paint the vision of their future self. You can't do the work for them now in order for them to be successful, but paint the picture of their future self. Paint the vision of their future self, right? So you'll be able to paint the picture of what life can be like. Paint the picture of the success that they can have, right? So that's one thing they can do. The second thing you can do is you have to tap into their why. Why do they want to do or why do they want to achieve the things that they want to achieve? Why do they want to go through and, and have the lifestyle that they want. It can't just be about money. It can't just be about fame. You know, it has to be a deeper rooted reason in order to go through all the things you have to go through to really create success. So you have to help them identify their why. And maybe my next conversation would be, how do you identify a great why? When do you know you have a strong enough why? You know, I, I'll put that in there, right? So we paint the vision as leaders. We help them tap into their why and we instill belief. Even if we can, we might see belief stronger in them than they see in themselves. So we instill belief into them. Again, we can't do the work for them, right? When, when I was coming up through, through the ranks of some of my companies, I have mentors and I still have mentors. One of my mentors, every time I asked him a question, he would never answer the question, but he would always tell me where the answer was. I mean, it could be the simplest thing. 
So I might call him up and I say, hey, you know what? Hey, do, or I might send him a text and say, when's the next conference call? Simple question. When's the next conference call? He could very easily tap back and say, next Wednesday at 9 p.m. He could easily do that. But what he would type back would be this long message say, go to our team website, click on conference calls, click on this, and it'll tell you where the next conference call is. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking it would be easy for him just to type in, it'll be Wednesday at 8 p.m. But he didn't do that. He took time to say, tell me where the information was so I can find it for myself. That's leadership. See, I didn't see it then, but that was leadership. I could tell you the answer, but better than that, let me tell you where to find the answer so you don't ever have to ask that question again. And when someone in your team asks a question, you can send them that message instead of you just telling them when it is. Leadership. So we can't do it for them, but what we can do is instill a vision. We Not instill a vision, but help paint the, paint the vision for their future, right? We can help them tap into their why, identify a strong why to keep them moving. And last, we can instill belief. We can instill belief even when they don't see them themselves, we see it in you. Just like we have to instill belief in our kids. You can do it. You can make it happen. You can be great. You know, we have to instill that. So whether you're a leader of an organization, whether you're a leader of a business, whether you're the leader of your family, you're leading somebody. Understand that is your goal. That's your responsibility is to do those three things to help build them, not do it for them. All right. So guys, a quick conversation. Chuck Harden, your power builder, entrepreneur, empowering you so you can empower everything around you. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out. See if we can cut it off.